that we're going to make are the Hershey's Kisses Peanut Butter Blossoms. I'm sure everybody's aware of these cookies. So this is what we're going to make. Um, <coughs> it is, <coughs> excuse me, 48 Hershey Kisses, half a cup of shortening, three quarters of a cup of peanut butter, I do not use Reese's. I use whatever I use, and I usually eat Skippy. Um, we have a third of a cup of granulated sugar, a third of a cup of packed light brown sugar, one egg, two teaspoons of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and granulated sugar, you're going to put on the side because you're going to roll the cookie in that. And the oven needs to be at 375. So I'm going to start getting the stuff together. And we will see you in a minute. Alrighty. So hopefully you can see this. This is the dough once you've actually mixed together the shortening and the peanut butter. So now you're going to add the sugar components. So we're going to add in a third of a cup of granulated sugar. And light brown sugar. Okay. What else we got to do here? All right, and then we're going to beat these, and then we're going to add an egg. So I'll come back after I add the egg, the milk, and the vanilla. And then I'll show you what the batter looks like, and then we'll add in the flour and the rest of the ingredients. And then we'll be back to actually start forming the cookies. Alright, so we have the egg incorporated, and we have the milk, and I'm shaking the table, and also to the um, vanilla. So next I'm going to do is I'm going to add this in a little bit at a time into the batter as it is as of right now. It's very wet, which is the way it's supposed to be. So I will be back in a minute to show you what the dough looks like once I add in the dry ingredients. Okay, so I added the dry ingredients. So now this is what you want to see. You actually want to see the dough actually pull away from the actual oops, uh, mixer because then you know you have the exact consistency. So what I'm going to do is get this off the beater and that should be the perfect texture. <coughs> my wooden spoon. So now, next, what we're going to do is we are going to form the cookies. So I will be right back with the pan. All right, so now, as you can see, I have all my Hershey Kisses. So now we have to unwrap them. Um, so it says you need 48. So what I do is I do about half. I see sometimes the dough doesn't go as far as um, I think it's going to go, only because I tend to use one of these little ice cream scoops. So my cookies tend to be a little bit on the bigger side. So next what I'm going to do is unwrap the kisses and we will be right back. Alright, so the dough is done. I have some Hershey Kisses that are actually unwrapped. And what I do is, I'm not sure if anybody knows this, but you take um, cooking spray and if you actually put it into the ice cream scoop, it does make it easier to get the dough off the actual scoop. So I take a little scoop, I round it off, put it in my hand, roll it. Now I have the sugar, this granulated sugar. 
And we're going to roll that in here. Okay. And hopefully you can see this. And then what you're going to do is, <clears throat> I usually just take the bottom of one of my little scoops. So you have that. And then you put your kiss in the middle. And I add, I add a little bit more sugar. Okay, so that's one done. Okay, so this is what the cookies will look like once you're done. So now we're going to put them in the oven for anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes at 375. And I will be back to show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. Alright, the cookies are out. And, oops, these are what they look like. So I'm going to put these on a cooling rack to cool and I've already put the other one into the oven and I'll show you them on a plate and that's pretty much all you do. These are very simple, they're not very uh, complicated to make. If you buy the Hershey Kisses bag, they actually have the recipe right on the back of the bag. So um, I had cut mine out and I keep mine in a recipe thing. So. But if you have kids, definitely a great way to add your kids into baking holiday cookies because they could be unwrapping the chocolates and they could actually be the kids, you know, pushing down the cookies and putting the chocolate in the middle and adding the sugar. You can also add different color sugar if you want. I just stick with the granulated sugar, but you can certainly change the color of the sugar if you wanted to. All right. And I'll show you the finished product when they're all completed. All right, and here is your finished product. This is what you get. And you get quite a few of them. Uh, I can't really show you without toppling all the cookies, but they're good. They're not real peanut buttery. Um, they have enough peanut butter, but they're not like some peanut butter cookies where they're like so overpowering that the peanut butter kind of takes over but you want to definitely you don't want them to be burnt on the bottom you want them nice and lightly brown um, and then you just let them cool they don't take they don't take long to cool <clears throat> and then just be careful when you stack them on top of one another because sometimes the chocolate still may be a little warm and that will uh, compress the chocolate so it actually won't look like a kiss anymore. Um, but basically, like I said, they're easy to make and they're a favorite. A lot of people love butter, um, peanut butter cookies. And of course, who doesn't love chocolate? So we'll be getting into the cookies that I started earlier. I'm going to be taking the dough out of the refrigerator, which as you can see, I just did. And we'll be making those videos next. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I look forward to making a few more videos in the next couple of days. Like I said, I've been very, very sick. So I apologize. I haven't been able to talk. So, again, Merry Christmas. And I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.